Hey everyone, so before we get into the vlog, I just wanted to come on and share with you all a few new items that I received. This video is in partnership with Lily Silk. They sent me some items that I wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, let me just show you the items that they sent. So first of all, can we just talk about the packaging? Like how beautiful is this packaging? So nice. And then I have these two small packages. So we'll start with this first one on top. And this is a silk pillowcase. Now, most of you guys know I am natural. I do get asked a lot if my hair is relaxed and it's not. So yes, this is my natural hair and I am big on hair care and so for me it is a must to use a silk pillowcase every single night and this is going to be great I love this print it's like this marble print it's white with black they also have one that's black with white but I chose this one you can also choose your pillow size so I did the king size since I do have a king size bed and I have king size pillows basically what I do is I just cover my pillows with the silk pillowcase every night and I sleep on it. And then in the morning, I just take it off, fold it up and just stick it underneath the pillow. <laughs> but if you're someone who likes to keep pillowcases on the bed, they have so many different colors. They have white, ivory, blue, red, green, black, you name it. But if you know me, you know that I had to go with the marble print because it's different and I just love it. It's just so fun. So I definitely recommend investing in a silk pillowcase. One thing about Lily Silk is that they use the highest grade silk out there and you get it for a really, really, really good price. And so they use the grade 6A and all of their silk is sourced from mulberry trees and those trees require less water. So yeah, I highly recommend investing in a silk pillowcase. I love them. Like it just feels so nice and just silky. Also, silk is good for your skin as well. So it's not only good for your hair, but it's really good for your skin. So unlike your traditional cotton pillowcases that actually dry your hair out and the friction causes a lot of dryness and breakage in your hair, silk pillowcases don't do that. They actually end up moisturizing your hair. So if for nothing else, it's just great to have for your hair care. So yes, love this and I'm super excited to start using it. Next item is this black silk turban. Now, if you know anything about me, I love a good turban. So this is gonna be perfect for my hair after I wrap it. It's very stylish and it's not your typical, you know, scarf. And because it's silk, you don't have to worry about your hair breaking. So I can just wrap my hair at night and then throw on this turban. I don't have to fool with like wrapping my hair up. I can just throw this on and know that my hair will be protected underneath because it is silk all the way through. So love this. And this one just feels so nice. Um, it has like a nice elastic band here. So it will stretch if I need it to. It doesn't seem like it'll be too tight on my head. Um, so that's nice. And so, yeah, I love this so much. And then the last item that I received is something that I've been wanting to get into, but because I was recently pregnant, I just could not even think about it or be bothered. But I did go ahead and get a silk cami dress. And I just went with the basic black. 
It has adjustable straps here on the back and I got it in the size medium. So I thought that this would be great for fall with some boots and like a moto jacket or even like a cardigan or a blazer. There's so many things that you can do with a silk cami dress. So I'm really excited to style this up. I'll do a split screen and show you how it looks on it. I just love this. I'm so excited. Like you guys don't know how long I've been wanting to get one of these silk slips and I see them everywhere. And so this was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and snag one so you guys will be seeing outfits in this um, once I do decide to wear it but yeah it's just really really nice and it feels amazing so yeah guys those are all the items that I wanted to share with you all from Lily Silk I will leave the links below to all of these items if you want to get your hands on them for yourself also keep in mind these make great gifts especially the pillowcase and the turban they have bonnets they have hair scarves they have like the little silk mask so you can get like a whole little silk set and give that to someone as a gift Christmas is coming up so keep that in mind as well I will have a discount code also link below for you guys for 15% off so yeah thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of the video hey everyone Hold on. I am just getting ready to run a few errands. Baby is napping right now. He just finished feeding. Um, I've had my morning snack because I wouldn't consider that breakfast because it's after 11 o'clock. Um, so I just had regular coffee this morning for breakfast at around 7 a.m and I just made some decaf so so yeah I just did that and I have a couple of curbside orders to pick up so yeah I'm gonna do that just finishing up my decaf coffee and this mug was in my love every package they gifted this cute little mug that says the days are long but the years are short and that's so true when you have a newborn it's like these days it feels so long but I look at Sefton and I'm just like where did the time go like my baby is a seven year old now it's still just crazy he's in the second grade like so crazy um, also Sefton is doing really really well in school guys um, his first year back in the classroom is going really, really well. He has um, tutoring today. I'm gonna do that when he get out of school. So yeah, I'm gonna go before I wake this guy up and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Do you wanna ride your bike now or when you get back? Take your book bag and stuff, huh? And ride your bike? <laughs> You're so silly, Sasha. Isn't it heavy? See you. Isn't it heavy? Isn't it heavy? Go ahead, take your stuff in the house. All right guys, so we are back home now and it is much later in the day, but we pretty much spent all afternoon out and then had to get back to get Sefton so that he can get to his tutoring. And so just finished up dinner and I am feeding the baby. You guys probably can hear him. <laughs> And then I am going to get us ready to kind of like wind down. He is not on a sleep schedule right now. He's too young to be on a sleep schedule. We've decided that we're going to start like the whole schedule thing when he's around three, three or four months. Um, so basically what I do is I keep him up late. Um, so his bedtime is like 10 p.m. So his bedtime is like 10 p.m. That's usually when I put him down between 10 and 10 30. So what we've noticed is that when we put him down around that time, he sleeps longer. Um, so we usually get a good 
four or five hour stretch before he wakes up. And so we're gonna give him a bath tonight because it is his bath night. And I'll show you guys kind of like our nighttime routine. Like I'll do a mini nighttime routine. I won't get too serious into it because there are a ton of nighttime routines on YouTube. But I'll just share with you all kind of like what I do. So I get myself ready first. I shower, I wrap my hair, wash my face, do kind of like any skincare stuff that I want to do. And then we get him ready for the night. We bathe him, get him settled down. I make sure he's nice and full. And then I put him down for the night. To make things easier, I kind of lay everything out. Uh, so I'll show that to you guys here. All right, guys, so here's what we have. I have his um, bath towel and washcloth. I have a diaper, his comb and brush. This is the Tubby Todd Everyday Lotion that I share with you all in my Newborn Essentials video. And then this is the all over ointment that I put on him as well. I got him just a pair of socks. These are actually socks from a subscriber. And I actually love these. These are the only socks that tend to stay on there's only one other pair of socks that i have him wear um these are the only other socks that stay on his feet so if you have a newborn i recommend getting them these because those other little white socks do not stay on my baby's feet so and then this is just the little onesie that i put on him and then i have his swaddle here um, ready to go so that's all his stuff that I have out for him and then for me I just have this is my nursing bra this is the one that I like to sleep in because it's like sleeping in just like a t-shirt um, and it's really easy to access the boob so I love this so I got that I've got my sleep shirt um, with buttons because nursing you just want to have something with buttons and it's very lightweight and um, very comfortable and then I have my new turban that I'm gonna wear um, to bed tonight and then the pillowcase I'm gonna put on my pillow I'm actually washing that right now with um, the baby's uh, silk little slip cover that I got for him so, so I'm washing that right now and then I'll put that on my pillow right before I get ready to go to bed so basically the next thing that I do is I get Seth ready for bed because his bedtime is before PJ's. So basically I just oversee him. He pretty much does everything on his own. He knows how to wash himself. He showers every night. Um, sometimes he likes to shower in the morning, but um, for the most part we shower at night. He brushes his teeth, he takes his vitamins. And then we read one book every night before he goes to bed. And we kind of just catch up on a day we talk about school stuff that happened at school and you know I go through his book bag to see if there was any work or any paperwork that I need to sign or look at and then he goes to bed and then I go ahead and get showered get myself ready and then we get PJ ready for bed also I always keep my little cart over here at night um, sometimes I'll move it back over by his crib if it's in a way but for the most part it just stays here and I just have all of his diapers wipes and everything that I need in the middle of the night when I'm changing him um, feeding him things like that everything is on this cart I do have a video um, sharing my cart so I'll leave that um, in a card here somewhere for you guys if you want to um, check that out but it's been working great i highly recommend if you're a new mom to get a bedside cart it doesn't even have to be a cart just get like a basket and just keep the baby's like necessities and essentials in it because the last thing you want to be doing is getting in and out of bed every hour to change your baby feed your baby like the first week we brought him home we were literally up every hour i mean we were both like zombies it was crazy like ugh, ugh. The first week home with a newborn is torture. 